this is a wonderful incident, it happened some two hundred fifty or three hundred years ago. There was a devotee in southern regions of Karnataka and his mother was aging. She wanted to go to Kashi and die in the lap of Vishwanath or she wants to die in the lap of Shiva. She had never asked for anything in her life. This one thing she requested from her son, please take me to Kashi, I'm getting old, I want to go there and die. So the man took this old mother and started walking. So walking through the jungles from southern Karnataka to Kashi is a lot of distance. They were walking. Mother took ill being an old lady, so he carried her on his shoulder. So, he was sapped of energy and uh, the only way he could keep himself going was he went on Shiva, Shiva. He went, please don't let me fail in this one endeavor. This is one thing that my mother asked, let me fulfill this. I want to take her to Kashi, we're only coming there for you, please give me the strength. Then, as he was walking, then he heard a bell. So he heard a bull, a bull cart coming somewhere and noise of the bell. Then he saw out of the mist a bullock cart drawn by a single bull, which is strange. In Karnataka you will see single bull but only for local use. Long distance is always two bulls. But a single bull in the forest, strange. But when you're so tired, you don't care about these nuances. Then it came and the man requested the driver. He couldn't see his face, it was misty and he was cloaked. Please, my mother is not well. If we can ride on your cart, anyway it's empty. The man said, okay. So both of them got on and the cart was going in the forest track. After some time, the man noticed it was too smooth a ride, it was not a rough ride as it should be. Then he looked, the cart wheels were not turning, they were still and the cart was moving. Then he looked at the bull, the bull was sitting and still the cart was going. Then he looked at the driver, only the cloak was there, there was no man. He looked at his mother, the mother said, you fool, we are already there. There is no need to go anywhere, this is the place, let me go. Then the mother left her body there, the bull, the cart and the driver vanished and the man came back. People thought, oh, he dumped his mother somewhere and came off. She did not take her to Kashi, he's come back too soon. They said, where did you dump your mother? He said, no, we didn't have to go, Shiva came for us. They said, rubbish. He said, it doesn't matter what you think. He came for us and that's all. My life is lit. I know that within myself. If you don't know, it's up to you. Then they asked, okay, then show us something. Somehow, show it to us that you actually saw Shiva. He came for you. He said, I don't know, because I didn't see him. I only saw a cloak and there was no face, there was no nothing, it was empty. He was simply sitting like this, he said. He sat like this and suddenly everybody saw only his clothes. He was not there. He became a great sage in South India. Then he walked here and there. Wherever he went, people recognized him as an empty face.
Devotion essentially means you have found a way to dissolve yourself. Whether you have chosen a deity or a man or a woman or a child or a specific objective in your life. But one thing is clear, nobody ever has achieved anything significant in their lives without being devoted to something. Whether it is art, sport, music, politics, spirituality, whatever it is, unless you're devoted to it, nothing significant happened. Because without a sense of devotion, you will not cross the barriers of who you are. The object of your devotion is irrelevant. Whatever the object of your devotion, it is the quality of your devotion which will transform you. Without devotion, there is no true transformation. Without devotion, a human being will not be fully empowered. Devotion is something that every human being needs to experience and they must understand it is not a religious process. Devotion is a love affair where you don't have a choice <laughs> Yes. A love affair means you don't have much of a choice, but at some point you can… you can become free from it. Devotion is a love affair with which you have no choice and you never become free from it. You get absorbed into it, you become nothing in it. Because you become nothing, you also become everything.